evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. Royal Air Force of Oman transfers Omani citizens from Turkey to the Sultanate. The Sultanate's daily crude oil production exceeds 1.12 million barrels last May. And the volume of foreign assets and bullions owned by the Sultanate increases to 7.88 billion Omani Rial by the end of May. Those were the headlines and now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Juan Manuel Santos of Colombia on his country's independence anniversary. An airplane of Royal Air Force of Oman arrived in the Sultanate last night from Turkey, carrying a number of citizens who were stranded there due to recent circumstances in the country. The move came within the context of services provided by the Ministry of Defense and the Sultanate's armed forces for citizens of the dear homeland. The flight took off yesterday morning as part of a national plan in coordination with a number of other concerned government bodies aiming to return all Omani citizens from Turkey. The flight carried a number of Omani families happened to be there during the events witnessed by the country. The arriving citizens expressed their overwhelming happiness for returning to the country and their gratitude to the Sultanate's government that facilitated their safe return to their families after they went through difficult situations during the last few days in Turkey. The Ministry of Finance issued a number of financial circulars. The move came within the context of efforts being exerted by the government to reduce the impact of oil price decline and to rationalize government expenditures. A circular to all public bodies, establishments and companies completely and partially owned by the government focused on the need to inform the Ministry on some data related to these companies' budgets, including details of capital development and operational expenditure, foundations and assumptions on why these expenditures were estimated, and a statement on total amounts transferred by the government to the company, profit estimation to be distributed by the company to the government for 2017. Another financial circular urged all government bodies to cooperate in controlling and scheduling the level of monthly expenses, rationalizing and scheduling expenses for the rest of the current year, and dealing with reasons that led to the increase in the level of expenditure during the period January to April 2016, compared to the same corresponding period in 2015. The Ministry of Finance also asked in a financial circular all ministries and government units to review all service contracts. A financial circular was also issued by the Ministry on the need to use vehicle tracking system to control the movement of government vehicles in view of continuous increase in expenses related to the usage of government vehicles, especially with regard to fuels, maintenance, insurance and spare parts. The Ministry described in its circulars the financial situation as unstable in the view of fluctuation of the oil prices. The Sultanate's total crude oil and condensate production during June 2016 stood at more than 30.36 million barrels, a rise of 1.25% during May 2016, according to the monthly report published by the Ministry of Oil and Gas. The total quantities of crude oil exported during June 2016 stood at a daily average of more than 889,000 barrels, comprising a rise of 2.41% compared to May 2016. China constitutes the chunk of the Omani exported crude oil at 84.84%, comprising a remarkable rise of 22.41% compared to the previous month. Taiwan imports of the Omani crude oil increased by 4.16% in June 2016, compared to the previous month. 
The quantities exported to Japan and South Korea witnessed a decline of 3.46%, respectively 1.88%. Central Bank of Oman revealed an increase in the volume of foreign assets and bullions owned by the Sultanate from 6.746 billion Oman Rial by the end of May 2015 to 7.88 billion during the same period of 2016. Statistics show that foreign assets are currently divided between foreign currency deposits of 1.6 billion Oman Rial and the reserve amount with the International Monetary Fund of 137 million Omani Rial. Still to come in our news bulletin. Visitors to the governors of Dofar during Karif season reached 110,000 by 17th of July. هنا الرائحة العالقة بالذاكرة تأخذنا دهشة مختلفة لتبهرنا بجمالها الآسر حيث ملتقى الأسرة امنح نفسك شغف التجربة فهنا حكاية الجمال لا تنتهي مهرجان صلاة السياحي 2016 من الخامس عشر من يوليو إلى الحادي والثلاثين من أغسطس عمان المحبة والوئام Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. More than 1.7 million expatriates in the Sultanate are employed in the private sector, according to the latest statistics issued by the National Center for Statistics and Information. The construction sector accounted for the largest share of expatriate labor force, the number of which exceeded 600,000 workers by the end of December last year. Whereas the sector of electricity, gas and water supplies are at the other end of the spectrum with the smallest number of employed expatriates. The Ministry of Health pointed out in its 2015 report that Omanization in the ministry reached 68% with, with more than 40,000 employees in the different health institutions. Healthcare services rose by more than 18% with expenses of more than 892 million Omani Rial, representing 6.5% of the total government expenses. Development in all health aspects was the most important feature of the report, which illustrated the continuous attention of the health services expansion, where the number of hospitals in the Sultanate amounted to 49, consisting of more than 5,000 beds and 182 health centers, 23 health complexes at the end of 2015. The continuous health awareness made the Sultanate one of the most epidemic-free countries. In the beginning of the last decade, the Sultanate became free of polio, diphtheria and neonatal tetanus. The Sultanate did not record since 1991 any malaria cases among its citizens, except for the case of one expatriate. The number of beneficiaries of health services through institutions of the ministry reached more than 15 million, showing an increase of 2.2% compared to the previous year. Same year, around 103,000 surgeries were also performed. More than 318,000 is the number of Omani female workers in the civil service units and private sector until the end of 2015. The statistics issued by the National Center for Statistics and Information indicate that 73,056 Omani female workers are engaged in the civil service units, mainly in the educational field and its associated jobs, medicine and general health. Statistics also indicate that the female workers in the private sector exceeded 50,000, forming 24% of the total number of insured Omanis. The governorate of Muscat has the biggest percentage of Omani female workers at 
with a number surpassing 24,000, whereas the governorate of North Batina came second with 13.8%, which translates into 7,000 female workers. The governorates of Musandam and Wista recorded the least number of Omani female workers. More than 27 million Omani rial was the value of traded contracts for last June. The Ministry of Housing pointed out that the collected fees amounted to 5.9 million Omani rial, adding that total real estate activities reached around 31 transactions. The number of visitors to the governorate of Dofar reached around 110,000 since the beginning of the Karif season until the 16th of July. The percentage of visitors increased by 172% compared to the same period from last year. The Omani visitors reached around 60,000, followed by visitors from the United Arab Emirates, who reached around 11,000. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas of the governorate of Dofar and its nearby mountains with chances of intermittent drizzle and fog. The rest of the Sultanate will have clear skies with chances of cloud accumulation and scattered rain over the Hajar Mountains. Winds will be northeasterly light to moderate over the coastal Sea of Oman, while on the coastal areas of the Arabian Sea, it will be southwesterly moderate to active. Seas will be rough along the coasts of the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of 5.5 meters and slight to moderate along the rest of the coasts with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. Royal Air Force of Oman transfers Omani citizens from Turkey to the Sultanate. The Sultanate's daily crude oil production exceeds 1.12 million barrels last May. And the volume of foreign assets and bullions owned by the Sultanate increases to 7.88 billion Oman Rial by the end of May. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.